always have to be better. I always have to you know, get myself in shape. But uh, yeah, I mean, to answer your question, though, I did it. Did you be asked in August if you'd be starting in the first few weeks of the season? Would you have been this? Uh, no. <laughs> nice to meet you. I mean, obviously, the way you handle recruitment, a lot of people get called through. As you're going through that, it got to a point where you pretty much knew you were going to show up like, wherever you decided to go. And with that football, with that basketball, you're trying to figure out where you're going to school. How exactly did you get yourself prepared to where you were in this position? You're not, it's not just an awesome situation. Like, you're the first and second in the situation. Uh, I would say what I did before, before before I took my visits, uh, I was training with Tracy Ford, one of my trainers back home, and uh, training with Cliff Abel, with uh, two of my D line. D line moves up to up to far, so when I did show it, I was you know, I wasn't too far behind. So you know, as, as the time came around, I did have my decision made. Uh, I took that week, trained more, and you know, I came here. You were the number one ranked defensive lineman in the country. Uh, but like you said, you got in late. I believe in July is when you arrived in Columbus. Um, what were you kind of hoping to do? Just get on the field as a true freshman and contribute? Or what, what, what was kind of your, your personal goals coming in? Uh, for me, I had a lot. But I think coming in that late, it, for me, it was just you know, be the best version of myself. Uh, always compete and uh, keep your head down, stay humble, and uh, stay close to God. Hey, see, I got a really basic question. How do you pronounce your last name? Two uh, <laughs> E Molo out. And, I mean, I'm going to clear this up for my mom. Uh, JT's initials, Jalen, is my real name. So that's where JT comes from. There's no extra T. Clear that up. Yeah. So you prefer JT as opposed to JT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. JT is just, just my first and last name, just my initials. A lot of us have been getting that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, yeah, I think you and Jack being kind of the way the guys You guys know what the expectation of what you like, baby. What about Jack? Oh, man. Uh, being here is my first time meeting him, and you know, we, we came very close. And you know, one thing that stood out is just you know, his, his hard work. It, it, he's just always trying to learn, always trying to get more info, and always trying to get better. Are you about the same size as you were like a year ago? I'm not sure you're stronger, but are you bigger than what you were a year ago? Yeah, How I, stronger are you? I kind of. Uh, since coming in, I've kind of leaned out a little bit more. Uh, it's still my goal is to keep leaning out, but yeah, I can see my body changing as I've been here for the past two, two and a half months. You said 275, is that about right? Yeah, um, that's, yeah, so it's 275, 273. Uh, you actually lost weight? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. How many pounds? Uh, like three, three or four. Given that you were such a highly uh, talented Feel pressure to come in and have to contribute right away and kind of show that, or just look that's, that's behind me. I'm just going to develop the way I need to develop. Yeah, I think with me and my family, we took it you know, step by step. Uh, first, wanted to make sure it was the best place for me, and uh, you know, when I got here, just you know, be the best version of myself, keep my head down, and, and you know, stay grinding, stay learning from the uh, from the older dudes. How would you say you played so far? Uh, I think I played pretty decent. Uh, still lots of improvement. You know, we got to get better. Having a couple of Washington guys like G and uh, and Mecca already on the team. And Mecca had already committed and enrolled. Did that help your decision at all to be a Buckeye? Or? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, you know, those are my you know those are my close dudes. But I'll say it really didn't play a big part. You know, I still kept it. You know, for me and my family. But you know, knowing that you know, they were on the team, you know, it was good to know because you know, when I did get here. I, I already had views I already knew very closely, but I want to say it played a big part in my recruiting. Coach Jason Tyler Friday was a guy that kind of took you under his wing. Can you talk about that relationship with Tyler? Oh, for sure. That's, that's, my, that's my older brother. That's my dude. Uh, helped me a lot. You know, I, I came in, wasn't very talkative, was very quiet. And, uh, you know, he's one of the few dudes, or one of many on the D-line crew that, uh, that kept talking to me, you know, kept, you know, kept lifting me up. And uh, I, I appreciate it. Uh, that's my guy right there. When you flew in for your recruiting visit, all the hoopla, what, what did you think about that? Were you surprised? Did you like it? And what, what did you think? People meeting you at the airport, like the president's coming in. Uh, what, what did you think about that? I didn't expect it. I mean, it was a 4 a.m. flight for us, so we just put on whatever we had in the room. But uh, it was a great experience. You know, uh, 
thank you. Thank you for doing that. But yeah, I was very surprised when I saw that. Did that. So nobody gave you a heads up as you were, no, you were no. just, <laughs> you were pretty shell shocked when you saw that? Yeah, yeah. You had one of the longest Describe or explain why you decided to take that much time and make that kind of deliberate decision. Yeah, when, uh, when COVID hit, it really, pretty sure you guys already know, but it took a lot of people to do visits and uh, you know, one thing my parents told me is like, you, know, you deserve your five visits, make sure you want to go and, you know, after we sat down as a family every day, we wanted to take our time and make sure you know, the other coaches know that this is what we're going to do and uh, you know, all the coaches are okay with it and that's, that's pretty much how it went. And how tough the season was in the end and how big a role did Larry Johnson have in the season? Uh, yeah, it was it was a tough decision for sure. You know, as a one of the big season, one of many big decisions you're gonna make in your life. And uh, we took the time as a family. And uh, yeah, Coach Jay, Coach Jay was part of that decision too. And uh, I mean, as it, as we met as a family, and came down to the school. This is where we decided. Do you think that Asking like how did I became comfortable with him, or like how was he doing different? That, like, what about okay, if Bayer Munford over here left? What college are they? This is the guy. Oh, what um, kind of validated the reputation he already has? Yeah, when I came in, tell me if I mentioned this right. When I came in, you know, watching film with him, you know, how technique, how like technical he was, and you know, how fundamental he sounded was, was just you know, that was a big thing for me. And he, you know, the way he taught the game to, you know, to us freshmen, so we understand it. You know, was very up to par and he, you know, he goes to high standards, but you know, meeting with him every day and hearing how he talks, it's just, you know, it's really big, big thing for me. Hey, JT, what do you think about Jack Sawyer? How, how big a football player is he and how much has he added to your team this year? Oh, man, Jack? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack, yeah. I mean, sky's the limit for us. We just got to, you know, keep our head down and stay on good and, uh, you know, keep grinding. You know, it's kind of tongue in cheek because I saw. Mr. JT, <laughs> what, what kind of shampoo and conditioner do you use for all that hair? Uh, it's a shampoo. Uh, I go head and shoulders. I always have to do that. Uh, I might follow it up with some other things. Can't really. Can't, can't release it. Can't release it. That's, right. that's my thing. Uh, conditioner. Yeah. Uh, you know, with whatever's cheap. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two and one. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Do you have a deal with head and shoulders? Oh no. You need no. one. <laughs> JT, to see how many guys in your class are already making plays here at Ohio State, I mean, just how exciting is it to be a part of this class that's making such an immediate impact here? Oh, it's such a blessing. I mean, you know, to see you know, Trey, Zell, Nick, Tylee, you know, I could go on. It's just, it's just a true honor and blessing, you know, to be a part of this class. And, and who knows, like, it, we can do a lot of special things with this group. How much does that maybe motivate you, lift you up when you see, like, hey, here are these guys I came in with, they're making plays. Now that motivates me to want to go make plays too. Oh, yeah. I mean, for sure. I mean, we all, everybody on this team is, is very motivated to each other. You know, we're we're going to push you, you know, we're going to hold you to, we're going to hold you accountable. And that's what I love about this team. You're a defensive end. You've got the body type. You've got the body type. What are your thoughts on that?